What is up guys, Tyler Casey here with Cinepax and today I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to use our brand new 2D effects pack from Cinepax. This pack includes over 135 cartoon 2D animated assets for you guys to use in your videos. We also have a sample pack if you guys wanna check that out and play around with it. I have a video linked on that down below. So once you guys have the pack downloaded, it's gonna come in two separate folders and we're gonna need to import both of those. So this one, the first folder has the accents, backdrops, comic, explosions, fighting game, impacts, and overlay. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag all those in right into Adobe Premiere. These do work in Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, and many other editors. If you're not sure if it works in your editor, make sure to download the sample pack and test that out for yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or DM us. Here's the second folder. It comes with a coupon tutorials. The coupon is sample 15 for 15% off your order. And then we have blood, electricity, energy, fire, smoke, and water. I'm going to go ahead and drag all these in as well. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and organize these by name. Uh, so first up, uh, I have my footage right here. This is from the promo that we shot. So the some of the cool stuff is this fighting game stuff so we have this this is kind of like that um it's kind of like that mortal Kombat style slash street fighter so we have final round we have game over we have the health bar knockout and we have the different rounds in here and we have verses so there's a lot you can do with this uh the health bar is pretty cool as well so it animates in and then it drains and explodes. So you would just have to finesse it if you want to. Um, first, we would wanna scale it to the size that we want for player one over here. And let's drag it a little bit forward. So he walks in a little bit later. Let's delay it right about there. Maybe even a little bit. Let's lock that. I don't wanna to be touching that. And a little bit higher. And then what I would do is I would add a frame hold. Where's that at? so the bar doesn't move and if i want to animate it it animates in and it freezes so we have the bar just frozen and we can drag it out as long as we want until he takes damage let's say let's see where he takes some damage let's watch this so he's good he gets hit right about there so he gets hit in the stomach boom i would probably just duplicate this since i already have the settings on it the motion settings and I would just drag this out and let's say he's right about there. And then I'm gonna add just another frame hold to that. So he took some damage right there and I can... And we can do the same for the other person as well. We can easily just drag that over um with the same sizing options and you can put it right there i'm not going to go through all that uh, i just want to give you guys the gist of that so we have the intro which is pretty cool we have fight we can also put round one in the beginning or we can also throw them in round one so we have round one fight just like that let's go through and look at some of these accents some cool little 2d animations as well these are kind of cool the cool thing about these as well is we can change the color of these so we can use tint or hls hls if it has color on it and tint if it is white or black we can change the color to anything we want on that one we have some cool blobs right here we have this little spinny head hit so if someone gets hit in the head let's see if anyone gets hit in the head right there we could drag that on his head. I think we have a close up shot, but let's go ahead and just drag that on. And we wanna animate the position. So what we're gonna do is right when he gets hit, we're gonna scale him down and we're gonna animate the position on that. So as he moves, we're just gonna track his head a little bit. We probably could attract rotation as well to just make it look a little more realistic. I think it's good, let's see that. So it's not on his head in the beginning. So we're going to grab that motion. We're going to start it right there. Keep it on his head the whole time. And if we wanted to, we could loop it a little bit longer. We would probably cut away from the scene right there because he kind of stumbles out. So we have some really cool stuff like some animated gun flashes. We have the sparkles, which are cool and super like cartoon like. 
and we have these cool like sword slash type things. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go through and show you guys how I would animate some of these hits right here. So I would probably come down to maybe let's check out some of these. I'm probably going to grab some of uh, these impacts first. So let's see what we have. Let's watch some of these hits. So he comes in. He smacks that arm down. So we could even put like a little impact right there. And let's say I want to stylize it too. So let's find where it is. Let's see right there. Perfect. So it really does like help add a lot to the scene. And we can duplicate it as well. Let's actually, I think I want to change the color of these. So what I want to do is I want to drag on tint onto this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab tint and I'm going to map white to any color. So, and we can go with that yellow right there. Click OK. And now we have like that same type of yellow hit. And I feel like it almost needs to be a tad bit faster because this fight is pretty fast. So let's duplicate the same impact when that right leg hits. So he pushes it down right about there. So I'm going to move it right there. Going to move his hand. I'm not really digging this color. I feel like it's a little too exact. So I'm going to make it a little brighter. Yeah, I think that's cool. You can totally leave it white as well. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just showing you guys how you can customize some of these assets. If we don't want it to look like exactly the same, like the hits hitting in the same spot when that second hand comes, uh, we can easily just like rotate it around just to make it feel a little bit different. So right here, I'm gonna add, I went into the energy folder and I'm gonna grab this like pop explosion type thing because in this story, this guy kind of does have. Uh, on the right here does have some type of powers. So that's a pretty big hit. Let's scale it down just a little bit. Boom, we can even speed it up. So I'm just hitting R on my keyboard to pull up that tool. It's this tool right here, right stretch tool, play it. And let's add some smoke of him backing up. So let's find like some sideways smoke. That's good, so right there. And let's speed it up of course, cause I already can tell that it's pretty slow. He's backing up, so so that's good. Like he's moving backwards, but the problem is it's going the wrong way. So what we're gonna want to do is come over to effects, and we're gonna type in. Actually, we just type in the word flip. We're gonna grab horizontal flip. So now it's going the right way, and we can drag that down by his feet. So that looks kind of cool. Looks like he's kind of like backing up, like he just got hit really hard. Yeah, there's a lot in this pack. I'm not going to be able to go through it all for you guys, but I just want to show you the basics of how to change the colors, how to manipulate them, how to basically just track them in simply. There's a lot in here. We have these water effects. Uh, we have all that smoke I just showed you. These overlays are really cool as well. Uh, some like split screen overlays as well, like two characters fighting each other. You can definitely watch the promo and get a lot of ideas on how to use this pack. Uh, we also have fire in here as well. Uh, the explosions are pretty cool as well. These are some of my favorites. So these just drag on just like this. Some really cool effects like that. So definitely a great way to add a comic style to any of your guys' music videos or films. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys do not have the full version, use promo code SAMPLE15 or use it if you want any other packs. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. DM us or shoot us an email over at support at cinepax.com. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.